Hey guys, I'm Robert. And I'm Ruth. We've just got back from Berlin for a conference which was put on by Zeiss entitled The Future of Optics, uh, which was an amazing experience, wasn't it? Yeah. We've had a fantastic time and we want to tell you all about it. So, well, we arrived at like a really big warehouse that we wasn't sure about. It was a bit bizarre, that, wasn't it? Was it was in the middle of nowhere. And Everyone's people like, were why saying, are they bringing us here? Oh, they're going to kidnap us. <laughs> but when we arrived, and we walked inside, it was amazing. It turns out this this old building is actually one of the most advanced recording studios in the world. Uh, a lot of high profile orchestras and pop artists as well. Like, like IPs. Record there. Uh, but it was an enormous place, wasn't we it? We did 8,000 steps around the building. And did we? How do you know that? My watch. Thousands of delegates were invited from all over the world in the field of optics. We walked down this tunnel with strobe lighting. All applauding me, which was cool. Yeah. We ended up in, in this enormous room where we all sat down. Um, there were people from all different countries, so we all got given these special microphones that translated what was being said. So the presentation started talking about all the things that Zeiss does in the field of optics, which you'd probably be surprised by, and all the things, particularly in the future, that it's going to be involved with. Like the glasses. Virtual reality glasses. Virtual reality glasses. It's probably virtual reality. Augmented reality or as well. Augmented reality. Where um, when you go to work for a meeting, you could have a meeting with someone in America. Projected onto a heads-up display yeah. in your augmented reality glasses. So you could sit in a room and on your own, but there could, in the fact, be 20 people there with the glasses on, having a conversation mm. about business, and that's what Zeiss are doing at the moment. So then we all split up into groups, and there were four sections. So what was the first one? Energise me. Some lenses that you wear when you take out your contact lenses to refresh and energise your eyes. Mm. Most people with contact lenses um, tend to have a pair of glasses that are quite a few years old because they don't feel they need them. But really, you shouldn't have contact lenses in more than eight hours a day, and you should rest your eyes at the weekend and not wear them at all. So this is a new type of spectacle lens, which will actually in the evenings when you when you should be taking out your contact lenses on you put these glasses on and they refresh your tired eyes and it was interesting wasn't it over half the people in that room voted that they didn't 63 know 63 percent of people didn't know about these lenses didn't know about them and how long have we been selling them since february when they came out since february so that's a good example of how we're always ahead of the curve or we try to be so what did we go on to next we went on the second area where we learnt about blue lights, infrared, UV in ways to protect your eyes from all of them because they can cause some serious problems like macular degeneration and cataracts. They showed a basic lens from a budget manufacturer and they showed the Zeiss lens. The Zeiss lens blocked a lot more ultraviolet light. There was um, a VR headset that you could put on playing ping pong and it was really good because you could hit the ball and then all of a sudden this kind of bubble came into the middle of your eyes and it was like looking through water and that's what macular degeneration is like so as you go to hit the ping pong ball you don't know where it is because we know what macular degeneration is but we've never been able to see it through somebody else's eyes and if you can protect your eyes not to get it in future I do very highly recommend it then we had a bit of fun didn't we? Robert went go-karting and you met Pepper yes, the robot that gave me a high five and when I put my hand on its back, it looked into my eyes. I think Ruth and Pepper had a bit of a bond going on, didn't you? Yeah. Was it hard having to leave her? Yeah. Pepper was like a an advanced robotic helper, wasn't she? Yeah. The tie-in with that is that Zeiss produced the optics that allow a robot to be able to detect you, recognise you, and react, actually react to your emotions as well. The next part is Robert's part. Four years ago, I went to Arlen in Germany to bring back a technology called the eye terminal and at that point we were one of the first opticians in the country to have this equipment. They're now giving this a, a massive upgrade. Uh, they just having one camera, they have nine cameras, nine cameras. <laughs> to measure your pupils. They've announced a, a new technology called the VisuFit 1000 and it does two main things. So the first thing is it measures you even more accurately than we can do now. The second thing, which is the really new bit, is it will also take a scan of your face and we can then either superimpose styles of glasses on your face, so you can try out different looks in different colours, or if necessary, we can actually make a bespoke pair of glasses um, via 3D printing and have them custom made for you. Finally, whoever you are, you'll be able to have a really comfortable pair of glasses. Our names are one of the first on the list to get one of those when they arrive, when, when they're launched next year. They're launched in January, but only delivered in April. Mm. 
And I wish I could show it to you because it's an amazing piece of kit, but they wouldn't let us take yeah, pictures. Take pictures. So that was a long day, wasn't it? By the end of that, our heads were ready to explode. Yeah. And it was quite late on in the day, so one of the things I wanted to do in Berlin was go on a river cruise, but we wouldn't have had any free time. I thought it was going to ruin my trip. But when we walked outside, there was no coaches. They walked us down to a river and put us on two big boats. We saw all the sights. Lots of beautiful buildings. Pure fun, wasn't it, for the rest of the evening? Yes. We arrived at the planetarium and we sat in the big room. Mm -hmm. Do they call it anything? I think it's just called the planetarium. Yeah. The big globe turned on. And there was like a show on the um, ceiling, which was only small, but quite good. And then all of a sudden, this big light creature walked out. This is back on. And we got a video of pictures, which I'll show you. And he walked around the room and then started to talk about how Zeiss do light. He was talking about Zeiss have an understanding of light. And light is the really crucial thing for life, really. We can't have life without light. We can't see without light. And because Zeiss have been involved with light for 150 years, starting with microscopes and then moving on to all these other technologies, which by the way includes planetariums, there was a Zeiss planetarium we went to, they understand light better than anything else and why would you not trust them with your vision really, which is what you're doing when you buy Zeiss lenses. And after we'd finished there we went down into a restaurant where we had an interim course for our evening. We was there for quite some time. Then we got weird food in Bournemouth, isn't it? After we'd finished there, we got on a coach and we went to a place called the Winter Gardens, which is like a restaurant theatre that they put a show on for us and we had our dinner, dessert and coffee. So it was really nice travelling across different places in Berlin to eat different courses, which I'd never done before. What was the highlight of the evening? Oh yeah, oh yeah. All day. What, but we walked around and Robert wanted his ice jacket. All the people from Zeiss Germany had these awesome jackets on and I yeah. felt very left out. So as we got to the hotel, Joachim, Joachim, yeah, Joachim. Joachim came across and handed Robert his jacket. So Robert got the Zeiss jacket in the end, which was the highlight of yeah. his night. I've never taken it off since. He sleeps in his smoothie <laughs> <laughs> So we've had a good time, haven't we? We have. We've learnt a lot. Yes. And we've found out about the newest technologies to bring back for our customers. Yeah. It was very tiring. Hence why we're only doing the video now a couple of days later because mm. we've been back at work and it's just been very, very, very mad busy. But it's Sunday now and we've got around to doing our video. We hope you enjoy it. See you guys. Thank you. Bye bye.